All right, guys, so little chicken update. I have been working on their coop for a little bit here, just getting everything situated. I got them a watering setup, which is a pretty nice one. So basically I just hung this five gallon bucket that has this connector right here. It's filled with water. So as there, there's like a little plunger thing in there and as it goes down, the water automatically fills back up. So we can hold five gallons in here and we could eventually make this catch rainwater, maybe like a little gutter off of here right into there, like a gutter down the middle or something. But that could be done depending on how we're feeling. Um, their coop, I added these old shelves that I had just to help. Um, so they're not standing in like mud or dirt if it does rain. And then also the grass will grow underneath there and through so they can only pick off the top layer of grass and they won't ruin it completely. Um, I know a lot of you guys want me to move this, but like it's not exactly easy to move around my yard because all of this is a hill, like all over there, this is the only real flat spot. So really there's nowhere good to move it to, but I will try to move it once winter comes, but hopefully just letting them out and this setup is good enough. I just added this little door right here. So I kind of just, you know, hastily cut this. I'm gonna grab some sandpaper, but it's just a little door like that. So I can lock them in there and then you can open it up and they can walk in and out very easily. That was the goal and shouldn't be a problem. I wanted the ducks to be able to get in and out easily. That was my hope. Um, we'll see, maybe I have to add this a little bigger. It's like 10 inches by 10 inches. It's super rough. I just drilled some, some holes and cut it with a sawzall. Um, the whole coop is rough on purpose. Oh, I even extended their house. I have a bucket in there. So add a little bit. That was just like a test to see how that would work. It seems to be working pretty good. I could probably put two more on here and then we could have a lot bigger of an interior coop. The ducks have just been sleeping underneath it and the chickens just go inside of it every night. And then they have some cross bracing up there. Those are just a couple sticks and they like to sit up there and perch and look out at everything. So that works well. But this whole coop, I want you guys to be, I want, I want to be very clear on this. I know a lot of you guys will be like, oh, I'll make it nice to do this, that. This is just a entry level proof of concept, proof of how much I, uh, how much I enjoy this and proof of my learning basically. So it's a good learning experience, I think, to build something like rough, hasty, not beautiful, and then learn what the chickens like, what you like, how it fits in your lifestyle and then expand to it from there like with any i guess you could call it a hobby with any hobby you don't want to just go all in right off the kick i wanted to entry level start off small and build same with the fish tank entry level start off small build from there and that's where we're at we're at the very entry level crude simple you know works utilitarian design and then from here, we can learn what we want to do and what we want to change. And I can start drawing up plans for a legit one. Right now, this is like as basic as I could make it. And they seem to enjoy it. And they spend almost all day out of the coop. They haven't found out the door yet, but I'm sure they'll find it soon enough. Maybe I'll put like a little rock on the entrance or like a little like something to where they can get out easily. But like I said, just the simple simple layout here i mean they've already been jumping out right there so they should be able to figure it out they're digging for something all of them so that's where we're at guys um i understand it's not big enough it's not beautiful none of those things but that comes in time first step is just making it work and using it and all scrap wood for the most part i mean now it's all scrap wood like the door and stuff like this was just like a random piece of scrap i had all right, guys, Bronte just did her first pass on the mower. Can anybody tell me what she did wrong? That's my driveway. <laughs> little incorrect there, a little incorrect. All right, so a couple little worms and they came right out. <laughs> Bowser went up to really check on things. What are you doing, Bowser? You really need to come check on things? So I went out and got a bunch of um, red lava rocks. These are good for like planting and for like, they're not bad for plants or anything like that. And you can grow your plants in there. So first step is to 
put them through this screen and rinse them all out, get all the initial dirt and grime off of it so that we don't have to um, watch it all go into the bottom once I put it in. So I use this old screen that I had and I'm gonna clean them all off real quick. All right, so here is the layout of it. So I have the rocks and their lava rocks and the clay media up on top. Uh, clay media kind of on top and the rocks just for like space filler because the clay media is really expensive. The rocks are really cheap. Both you can grow in, but I figured the clay media may help it kind of start because the plants grow a little easier and better in here. And then in the rocks, they can kind of put their roots into. So I figured that might help a little bit. Right now it's just kind of doing its initial drain and fills. The clay will start to not float hopefully soon. Once it kind of soaks up water, we rinsed it all off really well, as good as we could. So hopefully the bottom doesn't get too wet. It looks like we have a good level. It started to drain back like right there. So right under the top layer. I will probably end up putting some like silver reflectiveness all over this. I just didn't want to spray paint it black because um, I was kind of trying not to spray paint the top black. I wanted to use reflective to keep the roots a little cooler. The black will, you know, be a little hotter. So I may have to do a reflection on all of it, but I'll constantly check the temperature down here. We got some aeration going on and now just let it kind of drain and fill for a little while. See how well it goes. All right, well, it's not exactly grow season, but I put some stuff up there and then I grabbed some of this uh, fish fertilizer to try to uh, try to simulate the fish in there to get the nutrients up to the top, poured it in the bottom, let it kind of soak around. And now the fish water is going all around. This stuff is really good for plants. Any kind of uh, fish fertilizer is awesome for plants. And we'll see if the seeds take a little bit, hopefully. I mean, it's staying pretty cool, which is nice. So maybe they can kind of um, trick, I guess, their grow season, if you will. Henry does not know what to make of the chickens. Bowser's right there. Henry, these are your friends. Don't make me put the ducks in here. All right, well, we got some plants starting to take now over here. That is some lettuce. Over here, we got some tomato plants. Over here also, I just put a bunch of seeds and I figured once we saw what took, we can move things around. Got some stuff over here. I put an avocado seed in there just to see if it'll start rooting. And then there's some more seeds on this side. I saw some stuff starting to take, but I'm sure in the next week or so, we'll see some plants. Put some stuff in the middle, all on the sides, and let's see what happens. We almost got the full gang out here. She likes chasing ducks. They only like chasing the ducks because the ducks run. Watch out, Luna, Bowser's coming. Bowser's coming, Luna, watch out. She's looking down, she doesn't even know it. He's gonna get you. Good girl, Jess. Yes, good girl. Lone chicken over there. It's always Rotini is the lone chicken. Always. He's he's just like, or she is just always like off doing her own thing. It's so weird. They're all in a flock at all times besides that one. Sometimes it's in the flock, but not always. What are you doing, Alfredo? Climbing a tree? All right, guys. Well, that is probably your last update on the fish tank until we get some fish. Um, just going to let this kind of run its course a little bit and get the plants started a little bit and then we'll get some fish probably in the next maybe two weeks. I got a tester kit. I'm gonna keep testing for what we got going on down here in the water and fill it up some more and see what it looks like in the next 10 days or so. And then we'll go from there. So got the dogs out here. They are chasing chickens around. They are definitely chicken herding dogs. But that's going to do it, guys. Thanks for watching. Keep it saucy. I'll see you next time.
Why'd you bark? You didn't even go for it. 